Hello, Fofma here, and today we're going to be looking at three free VTubing applications that you can use on your streams or to make YouTube videos with. So in today's video, we're going to do a, just a quick demonstration of each application. If you'd like to see a more in-depth look on how these applications work, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll, I'll do my best to make those videos. So the first application we're going to look at is an application called V Magic Mirror. So V Magic Mirror is probably one of the most popular ones. It doesn't require a webcam or any form of tracking because it completely relies on the keyboard and mouse or gamepad. So I'm going to give a quick demonstration. This application is called V Magic Mirror. And right now I'm just using the mouse and the keyboard. So you can see how it tracks with the keyboard and it basically just every key press just turns into like your avatar moving its hand on the keys. And if you move your mouse, it controls where your head looks and it also moves one of your arms for the mouse. Now, what's really nice about this application is that it does have lip tracking as well as it also has the ability to track your head movements for the webcam. So I'm just going to turn that on right now. And as you can see right now, now it's tracking my head movements with my web camera and it's really not that bad. So another thing that it also has is that if you have a gamepad, it allows you to track your body through gamepad. So I'm just going to turn on my gamepad right now. And you can see right now I'm like, I'm, you can see me pressing the buttons and I'm moving around based on my gamepad. But at the same time, you can see me moving my head and it really has like, it really allows you to bring your character to life. So it also has expressions and you can bind these to key phrases or you can also bind them to hotkeys and or you can even bind them to like gamepad inputs. So I can just show you an example of it right here. And you can see my expressions playing through. And even has like allow you to wave and say hello or greet or amazing. What's really nice is that it does its very best to bring your character to life. Now, some of the downsides to it, as you can see, is that the um, the, the camera tracking is not that great. I'm actually in a pretty well lit environment. So what you saw me in before earlier was um, was the program called Luppet. <clears throat> but for some reason, even though I'm in the exact same condition, it, it does tend to move me back and forward a little bit. Another downside to this as well is that it doesn't really have, it doesn't have eye tracking. So it doesn't track your eyes for blinking. It just kind of blinks automatically. Overall, I would say this is probably the best application to use if you don't have a webcam and you want to be able to bring your character to life. The second application that I recommend is an application that we just actually recently covered in one of my YouTube videos called VC Face. VC Face can just be controlled with your webcam if you just want to get body movements, but also just like the program that I'm using right now allows you to have full finger tracking as well as uh, allows you to move your arms as well. So we're just going to do a quick demonstration right now an application called VC face. It's actually uh, an application that I covered recently doing a comparison video and I'll put the, I'll make sure that I link it like somewhere in the corner over there. So this is probably one of the most capable free VTubing applications that you can use on desktop. And what do I mean by that? That means for this application, you need to use at minimum a webcam and that gives you the body tracking that I have right here. But it also, if you have something called elite motion, it allows you to have hand tracking. And it's not perfect, but it does a really, it does a pretty decent job. And also just like uh, all the other applications, it also gives you the ability to have a range of expressions. One thing about this application is that it's still in development. Um, actually the developer of this application has reached out to me and uh, we're seeing I'm going to be sending them some files from my avatar and we're, they're going to see if they can work out some of the issues that I've been having. And what's really nice to, is that this developer is listening to the community and actively trying to improve this application. So maybe next time we see this application, it'll be even better than it is today. And the third and final application that I'm going to show you, this, the, this is maybe the most expensive free application, mainly because it requires you to have a virtual reality headset. Um, and it works best if you have Vive trackers as well. So if you have full body tracking. So basically what this application does is it allows you to bring your avatar to life 
using um, full body tracking or if you just have the headset and two controllers that also works as well and I'll give you a demonstration of it. So the next application is called virtual motion capture. So what's really nice about virtual motion capture is probably the best application that you can use to bring your stream to life because it allows you to animate and bring to life your entire avatar. So if you have your three trackers plus your controllers and your headset, that means you, ha you have uh, a, a tracker for each foot, one on your waist, controllers in each hand and one on your headset. So you have five points of tracking. And this actually allows you to have full gestures with your fingers by using your controllers, as well as it allows you to have gestures and movement. And it's probably the best way to bring your character to life. This clip is actually from my stream. Um, so normally, if you've ever caught my streams, I stream a game called VR Chat. And actually at the time, VR Chat was down and I was waiting to get into VR Chat. And uh, this is what I was doing kind of as a, as a substitute because it, it kind of looked like VR chat, but it wasn't really VR chat at the same time. Well, those are the three free applications that I recommend to use for VTubing either on stream or on YouTube. If you have any questions or you'd like me to go into further detail in these applications, please let me know in the comments down below. And uh, also if you like videos like this, uh, I'm trying trying my very best to grow on YouTube as small YouTuber. So um, giving a like or subscribing really, really helps me out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.